Well, there are so many layers to both of your characters, which I really love. I mean, neither one of them is who they seem on the surface. So, Kiernan, how did you find your inner Lou? What defined her for you? It's a great question. I think that, to me, the the key to understanding and unlocking Lou was was sort of about understanding her past and... I think that at the end of the day, what Lou wants um, and wanted in the show was love and was to be seen and understood. She obviously lost her mother and, and probably had more traumas that we don't even know about. But instead of approaching you know, the quest for love and being understood in a way that was uh, kind and grounded she she went to great lengths and sort of disguised her wants with wanting power and and uh, aggression and doing anything she could to to rise to the top so so for me she's her her motives were always um rooted in just like wanting to be seen and wanting to be uh uh, known and 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 loved and secure and wanting all these things in her life that she never felt like she had and I think she's probably reached a point where she's she's just doing anything to get there so so like a reckless sense of ambition and also just nothing to lose I think when you have nothing to lose and I think she had really nothing um, you, you will go to great lengths and she obviously um, went to too great of lengths, but, but her having nothing to lose and everything to gain was really the most inspiring kind of driving part of the performance for me. Diane, how did you channel Joyce? Was there something about her wardrobe or her environment that would help you get into her mindset once you got on set? Uh, well, I know. I mean, I, the wardrobe is just part of her job, I think in a way, but, um, I think the, the idea being that she is a very much go get it girl, you know, gone through, through great lengths to be where she's at and what it took to get her there, right? And how to not give that up, be in control, take control of the situation no matter what. Um, and then the rest of, you know, I I channeled <laughs> myself, other women that I know, you know, who, who are in their 40s and who have had a life where they chose their careers for a very long time and have pushed back their family home and the struggles that they encounter. And, and you know, the more outrageous I was at work, the, the more those vulnerable sides at home paid off, you know. What did you guys most enjoy about working with each other on this, spending time together, having each other to experience this with? It sounds like you were fans of each other's work going into this. So what's it like to get to work and share scenes with an actor that you really admire? It's great. Yeah. Makes it um, easy. <laughs> it makes it easy. It makes it more enriching. And I mean, for me, there's so many really exciting parts of this job. Like it really is such a dream to be able to do this uh, professionally. Mm -hmm. But one of the one of the joys of of this this line of work, if you're lucky, is working across from people that you admire and 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 are fans of. And it's just like, it, Diane is so wonderful in this role and the rest of the cast too is just incredible. And to see everyone show up to work every day and just slip into their, you know, roles perfectly, it was really inspiring. I mean, I think when everyone kind of has it so locked in, you mm -hmm. can't help but want to go the extra mile. And this this whole cast just made so much sense. And it, it really was like very fun to play with, with everyone, with Diane, with Thomas Decker, like Erica, yeah. Alexander. I mean, so many amazing performances in this. There are really interesting contradictions to Joyce. I mean, clearly Redmond has tortured her in a way that he should have to answer for, but instead she sort of has her own harem of men that she essentially tortures. What was it like to have all those different guys to work with? Did you have any particularly fun moments with any of them from Finn to Thomas to Ross? I mean, you had quite the, <laughs> quite a group uh, going. <laughs> we've had a lot of fun moments. You know, I, torturing someone on camera is definitely fun to do. <laughs> you know, but I, I've always tried to 
she's not cruel just to be cruel, right? To her, it's truly about being ahead of the game and being a perfectionist because she is, right? So she expects that level of perfection from her assistants, which is why she likes Lou, because she feels like, oh, finally, there's somebody who will do what it takes, right? Um, so, and then, I mean, I just feel bad for uh, Gerardo, who plays my husband, hmm. because I, he, in a way, to me, he gets the most abused, right? Like, here he is, Adonis coming out of the water naked, doesn't get as much as a glance from his own wife, you know, that that, that love scene we have trying to conceive <laughs> is yeah. probably one of the most unsexy scenes I have ever Witnessed. <laughs> witnessed and had to play and you know so I, I felt I felt for his character as well. By the end of these episodes it feels like there is still more story to tell. Would you like to keep exploring the story? Have you had conversations about a possible second season and what that could be? I mean we have not. I mean I'm I've not, not had a, it, I've but... not had a convo and I'm not opposed <laughs> either. I think it kind of depends on when it comes out and how people receive it and if I mean would you be in more. jail? <laughs> there's so many there's so many different routes that we could go. I mean, yeah. I'm just trying to think of what you would say or what what's <laughs> what's left of I blue kind of came in like a wrecking ball. Um and I don't I don't know what's what's left to explore, what's but true? if there's something if Kathleen's down, I'm down. Yeah, it certainly seems like this is a an interesting dynamic that uh would never get old. So Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I Thank appreciate you so much. Thank I, you. I mean, really terrific performances in this. Thank so you much so fun much. To watch.